Hi everyone, my name is Becky Eston Sorrell. I want to thank you for your interest in the revealing of the three secrets. These three secrets will help you quickly determine if your beanie is rare and worth a lot of money. Don't get rid of any of your beanies until you have checked out these three amazing secrets. Secret number one. What tag generation does your beanie have? Tag collectors put more value on the hang tag than they do the actual beanie. The earlier version hang tags do not have a yellow star on them. Some of these earlier tag beanies can be worth over a thousand dollars. Pictured are the first, second, and third gen hang tags that do not have the yellow star. As you can see, the yellow star started to appear on the fourth gen hang tags. So let's say you have a whole collection of beanies and you're not sure where to start. I would suggest to separate out the older hang tag beanies from the yellow star hang tag beanies. Then you can move on to the next step. Another way to determine if you have older beanies is to check the tush tags. The earlier version, first and second gen tushes pictured here, do not have a beanie name on them. The beanie name first appeared on the third gen tushes. So as you're looking through your beanies, keep an eye out for the black and white tushes and the tush tags that are red and white without a beanie name. Secret number two. What is the condition of your beanie tags? As I had mentioned before, tie collectors put more value on the hang tag than they do the actual beanie. Mint beanie tags are the cream of the crop. Mint tags are described as tags that have absolutely no creases, rips, tears, dents, writing, whiteout, fading, sticker or sticker damage. Having mint tags with mint beanies can bring top dollar, but even if you have tags that are not mint, they still might be worth some pretty good money. Let's take a look at some of the things that bring the value of your beanies down. Here are some examples of creased, ripped, torn, and faded tags. There are varying degrees of these tags and the more creased or damaged the tag, the less it's worth. Here are some more examples of non-mint tags. There's a couple tags that have writing and another one where someone used whiteout to erase their name. And then there are some pictures of tags that have some price sticker damage. You may find tags that have price stickers on the front, inside, or back. When someone removes a sticker, sometimes there's sticker residue left over and it's very difficult to remove without damaging the tag. And if you have an older sticker, it might leave a sticker stain. It just all depends upon how it was stored. All these bring down the value of the beanie. So what if you have a beanie without a hang tag? Sometimes a beanie without a tag could be worth less than a dollar. But if your beanie has one of the older tush or specialty tush tags, then it still could be worth hundreds of dollars. Pictured again are the older tush tags, the black and white first gens, and the red and white tush tag without the beanie name. Two of the specialty tush tags pictured are the black and white Korea 4 line and Korea 5 line. The only copyright dates that came on these older tush tags are 1993 and 1995. Moving on to the last secret, secret number three. What is the condition of your beanie? The beanies that are worth the most are the beanies that are mint with mint tag. Beanies that are clean, shiny, and have flawless tags are worth top dollar, especially if, if you have earlier version rare tags. Here are a couple of pictures with mint with mint tag beanies. If you notice, these beanies have tag protectors on their tags. A lot of collectors use these to help preserve their beanie's tags from getting creased or damaged. A big thing that brings down the value of your beanie is if it's dirty, dusty, worn, or stained. As you can see, here are a couple pictures that show a filthy beanie next to a mint beanie. And there are a couple of pictures where they have stains. If a beanie has worn or scratched eyes, or if the fur and felt are worn and pilled, then it just brings the value of that beanie down further. We also need to look to see if there is writing on the Trish tags. Back before beanies became so popular, parents used to put some type of marking on their kids' beanies so the kids would know which beanies were theirs. Who would have known that years later this would have hurt the value of their beanies? The bottom left picture shows where a Beanie Baby seam had come opened and been re with orange thread. The other picture shows an open seam where the beans had fallen out. Here are just a few more examples of missing and damaged tush tag beanies. You have tushes that are worn with frayed edges, worn and faded with writing. There are tushes that have been cut, stained, and torn, and even a tush that has been completely cut off. 
All these types of damaged tushes bring the value of the beanie down even more. So there you have it, all three secrets revealed. But wait, there's more. Now that you can quickly separate out your rare beanies, you'll need to know what they're worth. Well, we've got that covered for you. Take a look below where we've come up with an awesome three-in-one Beanie Babies price guide. We've done all the work for you. This fantastic quick reference price guide will help you quickly find your beanies values. We've included full-blown charts chocked full of all up-to-date beanie information at your fingertips. All the research has been done for you. Plus, we've included some pretty awesome bonuses. I want to thank you and I hope this information has been helpful.